morning. Um, got a whole piece of this thousand pound paracord. I was playing with it, uh, going back over my knots in preparation for a trip that uh, my wife and son are planning for me. Um, I accidentally discovered a knot that I'm thinking some of y'all might recognize. I'm not sure if this has been done before, but I'm going to call it, go ahead and just call it a clove loop. Works out to be a sliding loop. Uh, real good for, I would imagine it would be real good for like tying it around the end of a tree. Like you got to want to tie up your ridge lines or whatever you need, you need to tie to. Alright, so what I'm doing is first I make a bite. Make sure I got plenty of line. Cross it, cross it like that. Come up underneath like that. Go back and loop, effectively forming a figure eight. Now this is where it's easy to screw up. You might be tempted to go down in this hole, which you'll find, which you'll form an okay knot, but it doesn't have the holding power. This one seems to. So what I will do, what you'll do then, is make sure you go in through here. And you see what you got. And you go ahead, tighten it down. You want to sit, make sure it stays kind of nice and dressed. Pardon my daughter screaming, she's curious about uh, everything. And you see kind of what it forms right there. Now the knot should slide very easily. Of course, it depends on the kind of cords you're using. Like I said, this is a thousand pound paracord. You can see, I'll show you on my hand. As you tighten it down, it acts somewhat like the Canadian jam knot in that it tightens down and doesn't release very easily on its own. But, you can see, it's actually exerting quite a bit of pressure on my hand. But it's also easy to, should be easy anyway, to grab the knot. Ah, well, let's see if I can figure out which way I did this. And get it to loosen. I had to work out a little bit that time, but yeah, that's kind of what that is. I'm wondering if some of y'all had recognized this knot. Either way, I'm just going to go ahead and call it a clove loop because it's not somewhat resembles a clove hitch. Um, yeah. If y'all haven't seen or heard of this knot, there's one for you. Hope y'all find it useful. Have a good one.